Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name's Amanda and today I'm going to be demonstrating how to crochet a basic oval shape. In addition to a magic ring, a basic oval is used frequently in amigurumi. In particular, I use oval shapes for my peas in a pod pattern, my bat wings, and the snout of several of my animals. This tutorial will be a slow demonstration of how you create the basic oval shape and I in particular use four increases at the end of my rounds but as you read your own patterns make sure to check how many increases you have to put in the end of each row. With that in mind let's jump into it. For materials today I'm going to be using 100% cotton yarn by Lily Sugar and Cream and for crochet hooks I'm going to be using this 5 millimeter crochet hook size H by the brand Clover. These are my favorite ergonomic hooks and if you're interested I'll leave a link to these in the description below. Alright so to begin we're going to take our tail of yarn and create a slip knot. I'll leave a link to another video I have where I show a slower demonstration if you aren't familiar with slip knots. But after we've created our slip knot, we're going to insert our hook and tighten up the yarn. And now to begin, we're going to create nine chains. For your particular pattern that you're following, make sure you read how many chains are asked of you. Um, for this demonstration though, I'm just going to create nine chains and then we're going to be working our oval into eight stitches. So here we have our nine chains. We're going to skip that first stitch and in the second stitch on our hook, we're going to work an increase. Now, I also like to mention it's very important that you are working into the top loop and that back bump. So insert your hook underneath that bottom loop so you'll be working over the top loop and the back bump. Just showing what that should look like. Then once you have that correct, you can just yarn over, pull through, and create your first single crochet. And then like I mentioned, we'll be increasing, so I'm just going to work another single crochet into the same space. There we go, so there's our first increase. And now for the rest of the row, we're going to create single crochets. Again, making sure we're working over that top loop and the back bump. So we're going to create a single crochet and we're going to create six single crochets going across. So that was number one. Then we have to create five more single crochets and then once we're at the end we'll begin increases again and then turn our work to work along the bottom. So there's our second, here's our third single crochet. And our fourth. Fifth single crochet. And our sixth. Now in this final stitch here, we're going to create an increase. Again, working over the top stitch and that back bump. And then we're going to be working around to work along the bottom of all these stitches. But first we're just going to start with the increase in the top before we turn our work. So here's the first single crochet of the increase. And our second single crochet. All right, so this is the top of the first row completed. We started with an increase, have six single crochets, and then have an increase at the end. Now we're going to be turning our work upside down and working along from right to left along the bottom bumps. And also the tail here, from where we created our slip knot, we're going to make sure that we work over this tail to weave it in. So in this bottom loop now, we're going to create another increase. Make sure you're working over the tail. 
yarn over, create your first single crochet and your second single crochet. So in total in this end stitch, there should be four single crochets. All right. And now we're going to proceed with six single crochets along, making sure we get both that bump and the tail. So pinch those together and create single crochets. And we're just going to keep working across using the same method. We'll keep working over that tail for a bit just to weave it in and then you can trim the tail off. All right, so here we are at our final stitch. I'm just holding that tail out of the way. In our final stitch, we're going to create an increase. I'm no longer working over the tail. Here's stitch one of two for the final stitch. There we go. And our two single crochets. Just gonna pull up a loop, remove the hook. So this is what would be round one of a pattern complete. Here's your tail sticking out. We weave that across. You can just grab scissors and trim the tail off. All right, so to recap now, to create the oval, we first started with an increase and then we worked all the way across with single crochets, increased at the end, single crocheted along the bottom and now for rounds two and three and so on, you would continue working in the round in a similar fashion. In this particular case, for round two, what we're going to do is attach our hook back in, tighten up our yarn, and we're going to start off with a stitch. We're going to create a single crochet right here. And now, depending on your pattern, depending on how many increases are asked of you, you may only create one stitch. In this particular case, with the four stitches in each end, I'm going to create round two with two increases in those stitches again. So we have one increase, and this is our second increase. Now we would create six more single crochets and work across as normal. Now what we're doing here in round two is making our oval bigger and this would create a flat oval still. If you want to add some dimension to your project, you would begin with single crochet rounds after a few rounds of building up the oval size. So now that we've created a few single crochets, when we get to the end here, what we're going to do after this last single crochet is create increases in all four stitches working around here. So we have one, two, three, four stitches. These are all going to be increases. And as you work around, you just slowly rotate your work and then work along the bottom. I'd also like to mention that if you're creating a flat oval, round two sets the tone generally for how many increases there should be in your oval. In this particular case, I have four increases at each end of the oval, so all the subsequent rounds would likely have eight increases total. I'm only going to show you guys up to the end of round two here. Um, but if I were to continue with round three, it would begin off with the pattern of one single crochet and one increase, one single crochet and one increase, and then continue on with your single crochets and round four subsequently would begin with two single crochets and one increase. Now, if you're following a pattern, it should tell you exactly how many stitches you're creating, how many increases to put at the end. Not every oval you want to make for a pattern is going to be completely flat. So here I'm just working towards the end of round two for ovals, just like when you're working in the round with anything, you always want to make sure that you're starting your round and ending your round in the same spot. If you're not starting and ending in the same spot, you haven't done your round fully and completely. So here's our final increase. And I'm going to stop here 
but this should have given you a good demonstration of what it looks like to create an oval shape. Again, the oval is super crucial when making amigurumi. You'll use it for a ton of projects, whether you realize that you're making the shape or not. Um, the basic concept really just starts with creating that chain and making sure you're working down both sides of your chain. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. That's the end of today's tutorial. I'm going to have a ton of future videos coming out with crochet tips and tricks, as well as full free patterns for you all. So please keep an eye out for those. They'll be coming soon. If you enjoyed the video today, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you in the next one.